Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. We rejoin the journey partway through saving King Awawogi from the Culinaromancer's culinary curse. We've just got the required items to make the Gorilla Grigri, which I'm theorising will allow us to get a red banana, which is needed to make the King's favourite dish. We now need to run through the trail that leads to Zuknot. Let's go. Right, so we've got full run energy, and now it's just time to leg it, I think. Can't quite remember the exact route, but I think it's definitely just up and then around, so it's a bit of a jog that's uh, stuck. Actually, I'm a monkey now. I don't need prep, do I? Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought I was getting attacked the whole time. I completely forgot about that. Oh well, that's quite tame then. I guess it's just a case of how long it'll take. Right, here we are. Can you make me another talisman? You sure? Yep. Bring me the required materials again, and I'll prepare you another one. Do I just use that like that? There we go. And then we use the gorilla bones. There we go. Nicely done. He does his little spell. Perfect. Gorilla Gree Gree. Look at- Whoa! We look fucking sick. Look at that. That is very cool. Alright, now, if my theory is correct, we should be able to uh, pull that tree down. I can't be bothered to walk through this all again, so I'm going to teleport out and then come back. Let's go. I'm going to bring a knife with me because I just have a feeling like I'm going to have to cut this snake open or something to, to stuff the stuff inside it. So yeah, I'm going to bring that with me. But I think I've got everything else. I've got my Gorilla Gree Gree. I've got my Monkey Nuts. I've got my snake. I've got these two bananas still, but I don't think I need them. Hopefully we can get the red banana and then stick it inside the snake and we are done. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping that we don't have to cook this thing, but actually I've just thought we might. So I might actually just get a second big snake on the way to get the red banana. That might be a clever thing to do. Right, let's get down here. Let's put that prayer on, jump down, and then let's kill a big snake. All right, there we go. Got the kill, grab the corpse, get out of here, and then head over this way and turn into the gorilla. Let's go. Right, moment of truth. Is my theory correct? Did we need to be a strong gorilla to do this? I'd be so surprised if this doesn't work. Use the rope on the banana tree. Oh, animation. Animation is happening. Hey, look at that. Red banana. And let's get a second one. You already have a red banana. Okay, can I drop it and get another one? Because I'm fearful I might burn this thing. Yeah, nice. Red banana. Okay, and now, can I use this on that odd stuff snake? And then we put the monkey nuts in there. Maybe you need to prepare the ingredients beforehand. I've done something wrong. Do I use that on that? I think I've fucked that. It says you tried to stuff the ingredients into the snake corpse. That doesn't look right to you. Maybe you need to prepare the ingredients beforehand. So maybe I need to cook the banana? I'm a bit confused. I'm going to drop that again and get a second one because I've actually fucked that. I'm glad I got a second snake. I'm going to go over to those three monkeys and talk to them because maybe they can tell me about how I'm meant to prepare this. I feel like I'm getting more and more in tune with this game. I just know that I'm going to fuck things up so I should get two of everything. I might even need three of this snake to be fair. Could quite easily fuck this up again. Is this the red banana I'm looking for? too late he's just eating the banana okay so he just ate that if i talk to them again is he gonna eat the other one maybe i might just do it anyway oh i have the wrong kind of monkey nuts as well there's a special type of monkey nut that grows on the island and has a subtle and distinctive flavor that is highly valued by all monkeys with sophisticated palate you need the minerals and dampness found in hill caves but they also cannot grow without sunlight okay where can i find them you'll have to find a path through the treacherous undergrove to harvest the nut of kings yeah where do i find this plant look to the hills south of here Look to the hills south of here. Oh, is this going to require me to have the ninja gree gree? I've fucking left it in the bank. Oh, God. Oh, for God's sake. Where is this nut then? Is it somewhere up here? I can't actually see it. Okay, well, I have to go to the bank now and get my ninja gree gree. I mean, just what are the chances of that? Yeah, I think it probably is. I think that what they were trying to do is get you to use all the gree grees that you probably didn't do in Monkey Madness. So you have to get a gorilla gree gree and then a ninja one as well. But fortunately, I already have the ninja one. I've just forgotten it. Right, okay, let's go back to the rock, I guess. All right, we're back. We are now a ninja, I think. Well, I'm hoping that we have to go this way. I can't see any monkey nuts. I swing across here. Oh, there's a hole there. Oh, they did say some underground thing, didn't they? Okay, let's go down there and hopefully... Here we go. Okay, here's the monkey nut bush. I'm a bit worried. I like I might be quite scared. I don't know why. I'm going to click it. Okay, perfect. It worked. Right, let's get two. Right, we've got the monkey nuts. Okay, so let's go back to the person because I'm still scared I'm going to get this wrong somehow. And I'm praying that I don't have to then cook this. 300 XP. Wow. Right, let's head over to the three monkeys. I've got the ticky monkey nuts. Snatches the nuts... 
Oh, he's eating them again. Okay, well, thank God I got two. A slicing motion and a grinding motion. You need to prepare the ingredients first. You spoiled that one, though. You better go and get some more ingredients. Okay, well, I can just drop that, hopefully. I've still got all the ingredients. But he said a slicing and a grinding, so I think I'm going to need a pestle and mortar at this point. But how do I cook this thing? It's huge. It's not going to fit on an oven or a spit. Oh, okay, so it's the fire below us. Right, so I need a knife and a pestle and mortar. I have the knife with me. I didn't expect to use a pestle and mortar. But they didn't actually tell me what to cut and what to grind. I assume I have to slice the banana? Can anyone sell me a pestle and mortar around here? No. 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 Okay, right. So I think I need a pestle and mortar. Let's use this on the monkey nuts because I don't think this is going to work. Doesn't even say nothing interesting happened. Okay, it does now. Use the red banana on a knife. Yep, yeah, cool. I've sliced that. And then do we use the sliced red banana onto the snake? Okay, no. You haven't got all the correct ingredients. Okay, so it's not going to let me mess it up, which is good. So I think I need to grind the monkey nuts and then stuff it all into the snake. And then I have a chance of burning it, I assume, on this fire. Oh, so I don't know if I should go around and get more of everything. I think I might. I think I'm going to go and get some more monkey nuts real quick. This agility course is really good XP. You get a lot of XP and there's only like four obstacles. Might you do this? I can see this guy's doing it as well. Right, let's drop the monkey nuts. Let's get another one and then get another one. And then now let's teleport back to the rock. Get that. And I'm hoping that I can just grind that. Yes, it worked. Okay, and now I can use that on that raw stuff snake. I think I've done it. I think that's correct. I'm going to get two more snakes and two more bananas. That way I can have three raw stuff snakes just in case I burn it. I'm hoping that I don't burn three. I mean, I'm hoping that it's like 100% cook rate because I think after all this, if you did it and then you burn it, that would be, I mean, that would be very runescape to be fair. So I probably want two. If I have enough prayer for two, I've got one prayer potion. All right, we've got one snake. One more snake. Let's grab that and get out of here just in time so we don't have to use a prayer potion. That is nice. All right, so we've got two snakes. Let's go and grab some bananas and then we are good to prepare three raw snakes. Get a banana, drop it, do it again, get a banana. Right, cool. So now we slice the banana, crush that monkey nut, and then we use that on that and that on that. Nice. Three raw stuffed snakes. Right, let's head underground to where the zombies are and the fire is that we used in Monkey Madness. And hopefully we should cook these things. I'm hoping it's the fire, but it could actually be that big stone that we saw when we were in doing Monkey Madness. Let's go down and see. God, this must be the most annoying thing. Just let me through, please. I don't understand why they've done this. It's so hard to get to this trap door. All right, there we go. Okay, so there's these fires, but then there was also a stone somewhere that was like really hot or something. I don't know where that, oh no, it's here, isn't it? But look, there's this as well, there's a hot rock. I don't think I can go there. Oh dear, unless maybe I'm a gorilla. Does that change anything? No, so I can't get over there. So I don't think it's that. Let's go onto this fire and then use that on the wall of flame. And it's just hard, oh see, it is, that, it is that rock I think. You wanna roast it slowly, not burn it to a crisp. So how do I get across this thing? Can I use it on this floor actually? No. Oh, maybe if I'm wearing, if I'm a human, can I walk across it because I've got shoes on? Oh, what does that mean? How do I get across here? Just jump, mate. I could jump that. Every form of monkey. Is there like a fourth version of the monkey that I can be? I don't think so. I'm gonna go back and talk to the people again. I've stuffed the snake. We better cook it now then. How do I cook it? Very good question. Anyone know? So he's gonna hint. He points to the floor directly beneath him and acts like a zombie. He then points at you and falls over and plays dead. Gets up and then shrugs. And falls over and plays dead. Gets up and then shrugs. Somewhere hot nearby. What's this business about me dying though? That's not so cool. Do I have to stand on that heat thing until I die? That doesn't feel right. Maybe I do have to stand on the heat until I die? Oh, I have to be a zombie monkey, right? That makes sense. That's the last type of monkey. I have to be one of these guys, maybe. Get the bones from a zombie monkey, and then I can use that to walk over the heat, because I won't feel it because I'm a zombie. That makes more sense than me just dying. Let's just kill one of these, and then head back to that guy and make the fourth and final Grigri, hopefully. Yeah, small zombie monkey bones. Hopefully small works. Maybe do I need to be a, get a big one? Maybe I'll get a big one just in case. Right, large monkey bones, which for some reason in my inventory are much smaller than the small ones. One and two. Right, let's go back to Zuknok. Hopefully make the two final Grigris. I don't know if I need small or large or if it makes a difference. But this this, this feels pretty good. I'm glad I didn't just go and sacrifice myself because I probably would have just died. Right, we're here. Hopefully for the final time. Let's use a monkey talisman on Zuknok. Nothing happens. That's good. Let me talk to him first. Okay, cool. Right, let's use that on him. I'm going to use the large ones first. What does it say? Just zombie monkey to be fair. So I don't think it matters. I mean, I'm here. Let's just try it anyway. And then the small ones on him there. He explodes. And that is the same. But I do actually turn to a small one. So there is a difference. But they're called the same thing, which is interesting. Right, so let's now head back to Varrock for one final time to get back onto the island. Hopefully, after all of that, we are done. We can cook this thing. We have three attempts at it. I am praying that that will be the end of it. Because this has taken 
ages to be honest. Right, we are back as a zombie monkey and interestingly, it looks like you can't actually run as a zombie monkey. Here we go, zombie monkey Grigri. Come on, please. Yes, look at that. Look at that big brain, right? And then this rock, it's a long hot rock. Use that on there. There we go. You cook it to perfection. I've got these two raw ones. I don't know if I could just do it again. May as well get the XP. I'll keep one raw one just in case I need it for some reason. I can't imagine what for. But can we just go and feed it to him now? I should return to Aris, yes. Let's get the fuck out of here. Right, we've got the snake. Hopefully I can just stick it on the king and get him out of there. Where am I going? This is not where I need to be. Right, I think I could just use it on him, right? Don't see why not. Hey, I think it worked. Wait, why is he not just, why is he not popping up with the, the, the completion thing? He's talking to me, I'm scared. Oh, hello, what's this? Getting to Apatol is quite a pain. Do you have a way of making it easy to get there? I think I'm getting a teleport to Apatol. Yeah, oh my god, that's a lot. 10k cooking and 10k agility. The Apatol teleport spell. Nice. One more down, four left to go. Right, what can we do next? Scratch only needs big chompy bird hunting, which seems fairly straightforward. Yeah, I think that's the one. It's time to go big chompy bird hunting. We start this quest by talking to Rans, who's southeast of Gu Tanoth. He asks us to create him some what he calls stabbers, so he can hunt the chompy. We're able to decipher that when he says stabbers, he's referring to arrows. To make the arrows, we need a shaft made from an achy tree, and arrow tips made from wolf bones. That's all we've been told so far. I bought a knife and an axe because the requirements for this quest showed five fletching, so I thought, well, that's gonna be evolved at some point. So yeah, I brought an axe and a knife, and it sounds like I'm on the right tracks because I agreed to make him some arrows and it said that I need to cut down an achy tree to get the sticks and then I also need to kill a wolf to get some bones. So I've just got the sticks now. So let's kill a wolf, which I'm gonna have to take on with a mithril hatchet because I didn't bring a weapon. Okay, cool. Right, I've got the wolf bones. That took a little minute. I had to resort to some poorly timed prayer flicking at the end there. Right, so now we've got the wolf bones. I think I used them on the knife as well. No, I do not do that. Do I use my hatchet on it? No. I'm going to talk to Rant again because I don't actually know how to make the arrowheads. You make the stabby bit from the dog bones and the sticks from the achy tree. I've got the achy tree sticks and the fluff seeds from the flappers as well. So I need logs from the achy tree, bones from a canine and feathers. Interesting. I don't know how to actually craft them into arrow sh uh, arrowheads though. Let's see if the journal's updated. No, it's not. Jesus Christ, I'm stuck on big chompy bird hunting. Fluff seeds. What's a fluff seeds? I guess a chicken, right? So I just need normal feathers. How would you normally create arrowheads on an anvil, right? But that's if it's a bar. I guess I guess I could go and get a hammer and try it on an anvil somewhere. What's in this cave? Let's have a look in the cave. Ficey and bugs. Let's talk to these guys. That's hilarious kids. Oh, here we go. Bugs shows you a chisel and a knife. He wants 10 gold coins for these things. Okay, I'll give you 10 gold coins. All right, cool, we got a chisel. Okay, so it looks like we have to chisel the bones. Yeah, look at that. Bugs coming up big, right. What about this person? I'm gonna talk to this person as well, just in case they give me any hints. You need fluff seeds for stabbers. Ah, uh, here we go, yeah, she or he, whatever that is, has some. I want some bright pretties for him as well. Okay, cool, so we can look like we could just buy the feathers here. So I'm giving 50 coins for 25 feathers, which seems like a pretty solid deal. There we go, and then I think we could just craft them all together, right? Yeah, we've attached them, then we stick them on there, and we have three ogre arrows, right? Okay, so that worked out very well. I'm glad I came to this cave. Uh, let's go back and talk to Rant. Have you made the stabbers? Here we go, that's not enough of them. Okay, cool, that does make sense to be fair. I only made him three. Bring more than fingers on hand. Right, so we probably need about either, I'm going to say more than 10, just in case he means both hands. I'm going to go back to Castle Wars and get a weapon because it's going to be much easier for me to kill these wolves. Right, so I've got a little melee switch here so that we can kill the wolves quicker. Um, I've also brought some of my own feathers and I'm just doing a quick detour to RD to recharge my prayer points. All right, we are back. Let's kill some of these guys. Okay, so I actually just killed two and I already have 11, so I only need to kill two. So let's now chop some of these trees. Nice, okay, cool, so we have enough of those, so let's make that, and then do that. Nice, so we have 14 arrows. Right, let's talk to Rant. Here we go. Goodly, goodly. Chompy not coming without the fatsy toadies. Gotta to get the fatsy toadies to get the chompies. Then we put it over there, and sneaky, sneaky, stick to chompy. Right, so how do we make a fatsy toady? You gotta to make the toadies big and round. How do we make them big and round? Where do we put the toadies? Points to a small clearing in the south, maybe probably that way right okay um he didn't tell me how to make them big i am going to go back into this cave i know where the toes are the toes are just over there i'm gonna go back into this cave because last time i came in here i got all my answers so there's this chest but i'm going to talk to these guys first again because maybe they give me a, an item or something no okay he didn't do anything for me no what about this chest over here perhaps you better ask permission before opening it right how do we make the chompies come toadies get big on the swamp gas 
Okay, here we go. So rants, feisty and bugs play with toadies and blow her all the time, making fat toadies. Right, okay, cool. So they do, they know how to, so okay, I think we can now go back in maybe by asking that. We'll hopefully talk to them about how to make a fatsy toady. Here we go. Rants said you play with the fatsy toadies. What are they? Are we sometimes using the blower on the toadies, but dad don't let us do it. It's locked in the box no more. Okay, so it's in this locked box. Right, there we go. We've got a pair of bellows. That is what we need to blow the gas into the toads, I believe. So now we've got that, let's head over to this little swamp area. Use that on the swamp bubbles. There we go. And then use that on a toad. There we go. Cool. Right now, we have to drop them in the clearing over here. Didn't say exactly where, so I'm just gonna drop it around here and hope for the best. Oh, okay, wait. You're not sure where Rance told you to place the bloated toad. You decide to wait and ask him where to place it. I'm convinced I already asked him, but let's go back. Okay, it's pointing over here, right. This didn't happen last time. So on this tile right here. Right, let's stand here, drop that, and then we run away. And now I'm gonna talk to him. There you go, I've placed the bait. Now we wait. Oh, there it is. It's there. Dude, attack it. Oh my God, I'm getting a random event at the same time. Why isn't the guy attacking the, the bird? Oh, here we go, he's doing it, he's doing it. I think he missed. You keep missing the chompy bird. Your stabbers are worse at flying than a dead dog. Oh, let me have a go. Okay, cool, here we go. I've got the bow myself. I don't have any arrows. Oh, I do, what am I talking about? I've got loads here. Let's go, let's get it. Okay, the, oh, okay, that didn't work. I didn't kill it quick enough, it just disappeared. I don't know if that was me or if that was meant to happen. Let's talk to Rance. Okay, cool, I think I just took too long. I think I should be able to get it again. All right, let's drop another one here and then run over this way. I'm not really in the best gear for archery right now, but oh well, there is no chompy at the moment. I don't know if I'm meant to do something, like talk to him, maybe I need to talk to him again. Nope. Am I meant to hide behind these bushes? It just disappeared. Oh no, it was just my distance. Nothing's happening. I don't know if I'm just meant to wait. Okay, now it is gone. So I think that was just a bad one. Maybe some toads don't spawn the chompy. All right, let's stand back again. Some. T oh, there it is. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's turn the prayer on. Come on. Hey, there we go. Right. And now I've got to pluck it. And there we go, we've got the raw chompy, right. Let's grab the arrows just in case we need more. And I think we're probably gonna have to cook this now because there was a cooking requirement for this quest. Let's talk to Rance. Here it is, freshly plucked chompy carcass. You can cook it over there. Points to a nearby spit row, so I assume it's this thing over here. Particular about our chompy yums. Me wants potato with mine. Feisty and Bugs want something with theirs as well. Go and ask them what they want, right? So we're gonna need to get potato. Me's has to have equa leaves with mine. What the hell's equa leaves? Me wants Dougal leaves with mine. Okay, I know what Dougal leaves are. Heard of those before. Pretty sure we've used them in a quest before. Equa leaves I have not heard of. I'm assuming they're gonna be a spawn around here somewhere. Right, he doesn't say anything either. So we just have to go and find these now. We have to go and find equa leaves and Dougal leaves. Um, I'd be very surprised if they don't give us some of this stuff in the surrounding area. So I'm gonna run around and see. In fact, there's a red dot somewhere. Oh, here we go. Perfect, found the equi leaves straight away. Um, and then Dougal leaves. Let's go up here. Oh, what's that? That's a tomato. Oh, there's an onion there. What do we need to get? I've already forgotten what we need to get for rants. Is it an onion? No, it's a potato, isn't it? We should be able to find a potato around here somewhere. Oh, is that, uh, yeah, there's Dougal leaves. Nice, okay, cool. We got the, the two leaves. We now just need to find an onion. Wait, was that an onion that I walked past or was that garlic? Oh, it is an onion. I'm an idiot. Did he say onion? No, he said potato. What am I on about? I'm losing my mind here. Right, I need potatoes. Where can I find a potato? These are ferns. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Potato right there. Use the raw chompy on the ogre spit roast. There we go. And we didn't burn it. That's what we want to see. Use the potato dougal leaves and the equa leaves on the chompy bird to make a seasoned chompy. Right, let's talk to Rance. You hand over the cooked chompy bird to Rance. Thanks very much for the chompy. Feisty and Bugs will very much enjoy the chompy yums. The family of ogres sit down together and enjoy your well-cooked chompy bird. That's a nice little scene. And there we go. That was the end of the quest. 1,400 cooking XP, 700 range, 200 fletching, an ogre bow, and the ability to make ogre arrows, and two quest points as well, which is very nice. And the main thing is that that now gives us the ability to complete the Scratch Uglawogi. Uglo... Uglogwi. The Scratch Uglogwi part of Recipe for Disaster. So now let's head back over to Lumbridge. Okay, let's inspect Scratch and see what we can learn about him. How can I help Scratch? He'd be unfrozen and jiffy if he just had some jubbly. He likes chompies and a real delicacy is jubbly chompy bird. You think you could get some? How do I get this jubbly chompy? That's where it breaks down a bit, you see. The only thing alive which might help you get a jubbly chompy is the most confusing beast that Gilinor has ever known. You need to go and speak to an ogre called Rance over in Feldip Hills. He wasn't the most confusing beast ever. He's our mate now. 
We cooked him some food for his family. What could go wrong? Let's go and talk to Rand. Cool, just kit out my inventory with a bunch of stuff that I'm assuming I might need. Uh, just stuff to make more arrows if I do need it. An ogre bow as well, just to kill the chompies if I need that. I've got my bellows. Kind of everything I just used in the big chompy bird hunting quest. I'm trying to free Scratch, can you help? Scratch like the jubbly chompy. Use creature gets Rance to other lands over there, so Rance gets to stuff seas for the glugs glugs. Rance points to the northeast in the direction of Karamja. You'll do this for the jubbly. Yeah, what's involved? You get Rance over there. Okay, I'll do it. So we have to go down, meet him by the cabbage, which I believe is just south there. And then he'll tell us more. So we're going to help Rance get over to Karamja by the sounds of it. All right, let's talk to him again. Use creature says what Rance need for going over the big water to the over there place. So basically, we have to tell him what he needs. So you want to go to Karamja. It's a bit of a long walk. You'd probably be better off with a boat. For a boat, you'll need something that floats in order to make a hole. But a tree would be better. Oh, little cutscene. Great, so he's got himself a tree that he's kicked into the water. Can you tell me how to get a jubbly now? Will that carry me over to Karamja? You creature make it better. Right. Do we have to carve it up with an axe? Let's try and use a hatchet on it. Yeah, it looks like it's working. You trim the roots of the tree back. You've got no space to put anything in there. It needs to be hollowed out a bit. Okay, we've got to make it better again. Do I have to use an axe and again, I assume? Boat's ready. Tell me how to get a jubbly. We need the bestest groundy for the walking on the new land. What the hell does that mean? We need shoes. Rants use stabby chucker and stick. What? Stabby chucker and stick of dirt for over... I'm hoping this guy's going to translate it for me. I don't actually have to understand this because this is... Exactly, question mark. Rance prepares to shoot the bow. Oh, he just fired it off over there. Goes find the stabber. I have to go and find the arrow. Where did he just fire it into the water though? Rance has asked me to spit roast a chompy bird near the place where he shot the arrow. I guess it's on Karamja Beach somewhere, right? So I have to get a chompy. Yeah, I need to get a chompy bird, right, okay. Um, Let's go get a toad then, I think because I will still need to prepare it on this side, I assume. Do exactly the same thing we did the first time and then head over to Karamja and prepare it over there. Rance doesn't like it when you chompy hunt on his turf, but you can hunt for chompies in the rest of the ogre area. Okay, I can't do it over here. Maybe I can do it over this way? You won't attract a chompy bird this far away from the ogre area. Okay, maybe I've got to be more over this way. Okay, that seems to have worked. Oh, there it is. Nice. Let's pluck this. Now, he said something about his kids swimming over. I don't know if I need to get the leaves again, so I'm gonna get them anyway because it's better to have them prepared in my inventory rather than going all the way over to Karamdra and not having them and then needing them. So I'm gonna grab all the stuff that his kids like, so the Dougal leaves, and I know he liked potatoes, so I'll grab a potato, and then I'm gonna go and grab the Equa leaves as well. Right, we've got everything. I'm gonna just head over to Karamdra. Right, so I'm assuming that the beach, I mean, I'm gonna walk down this side here, but I'm assuming that it must be around this bit if he fired an arrow across, although logic might have gone out the window and he might have pinged it up here. So I'm just gonna walk down this side here and hopefully we'll find this spit roast at some point along here. Oh, there we go, is that it? That must be it, right? There's an arrow in a tree there. Yeah, with an ogre arrow in it, perfect, right. So we are around, the spit roast must be around here somewhere. Is that it over there? No, it doesn't look like it. Let me just double check what it says. Ask me to spit roast a chompy bird near the place where he shot the arrow. So it must be somewhere around here. Perhaps in here, in this building. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, there's an anvil over there. There's a boat there. Can't see the spit roast around this side, so I'm gonna go south a little bit and see if there's anything down here. There's a person there. Oh, is that a spit roast over there? No, it doesn't look like it. It's just like a fire. I mean, I'd assume that it would be on the beach. I feel like I'm too inland here. I feel like I need to be nearer the beach, but I just can't for the life of me see this thing. Unless I have to make my own fire, but I don't know how to spit roast it. But it definitely says spit roast. What if I can use the uh, raw chompy on this tree? Nothing interesting happens. What's this dense jungle? Okay, no, it doesn't seem to be it. Um, let's carry on down south a bit more. Perhaps there is another arrow in a tree. Uh, it doesn't look like it. And there's no spit roast around here either. Let's chop down this dead tree. I haven't got a, a tinder box, but I might have to buy one from the shop. I don't know if using a knife on this allows me to make like a spit roasting stick or something. Don't think so. Uh, I wonder if maybe just using this raw chompy on the ingredients might start an animation or something. Oh, here we go. You don't need to add any ingredients to cook the chompy bird now. Just cook it on the spit roast. What spit roast? Am I completely blind here? Did I miss one up here? I'm going to have to assume it's that fire over there because there's no other fire. Let's head over there and see. Let's just see if this works. Use that on the fire. 
No, you need a spit. See, this is too big. You need a spit rose for this big bird. Maybe up here, whatever this thing is. Oh, I can't even climb up that, can I? <gasps> I am so confused. I'm next to the arrow and there is no sign of a spit roast, literally none. So I don't really know what to do here. Is there one up here that I've just missed? There's nothing in there. Oh, what's that over there? It's like a fire, but it's nowhere near the arrow. No, this is a pot. Again, it's not a spit roast. I feel like I have to make my own spit roast here, but I've got no idea how to do that. I assume I have to start a fire, but then I'll need more stuff. Or can I use a log on that? No. What does this person sell again? Any tinder box? Okay, they sell tinder boxes. Let's grab one of those real quick. There's no spit like stick or anything like that, but maybe we can just start a fire over here. Let's do that on there. Right, we've got a fire. Let's now put the raw chompy on top of it. No, it's too big. You need a spit roast for this big bird. So how do I turn a fire into a spit roast? Oh, I need more wood for starters. Let's go and get some wood from a tree. I think I saw a dead tree down here. What's that teasing stick? I think that's probably just used for this hunter thing, right? Can't use that on the chicken. No, I can't. I mean, now I'm here. What if I set fire to a log and then put another log on top of it? Does that then build a spit? Hello, what's that? I don't think I knew you could do that. Oh, it's changed with the forestry thing, hasn't it? What's resting do? Oh, I don't think I've ever done this before. Is my energy going up quicker than usual? I think it is. I have never done this. This is pretty cool. You should to do this in RS3. You used to go up much quicker than this though. That's pretty cool. So they've made an AFK way of training fire making, I guess. So you can just add it to it. I remember you used to get a random like health boost in like the old runescape. I think that's the case in this one, but this is pretty cool. I'm a little cup of tea. This is not what I'm meant to be doing though. I'm meant to be making a spit and I haven't got a clue how to do it. I might carry on walking down here and just see if there's any pre-made ones down here that I've just kind of got a bit confused with. Right, there's no spit here. There's also no spit up there either. So I think we were in the right place. I can only assume that maybe it's further inland and I just haven't seen it. So let's walk this way and just hopefully stumble across a spit roast somewhere. Maybe do I need like a spear or something? Because these guys have spears and like, I'm wondering if I need to like spear the chompy and then do it or something. Oh, I just don't know. There's no, there's no spit roast here. Am I just completely blind or something? I'm going to be really gutted if it is right here and I just can't see it for whatever reason. But there's a tree here and a curling plant. This is clearly the tree and I see no way of doing this. What about using like a tinder box on this plant? Oh man, is this even meant to be the hard part of the quest or what? Maybe not. Can I use this on the dead guy? Use that on the boat? What about just use, did I try this already? Use this on the tree? I think I've already tried this. Yeah, I already tried that. What about a tinder box on the tree? No. A knife on the tree? No. Chisel on the tree? Axe on the tree? No. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to go back and talk to Rance again because I really just don't know what to do here. I'm wondering if maybe the arrow's gone to the wrong place and he was aiming at somewhere else and I'll go back and talk to him and he'll be like, oh, I missed or whatever. Because I'm really, really confused. Let's kill one of these tribesmen and just see what they drop. Trading sticks. I don't think that's what I need. Ah, oh, dearie me. Um, 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 right, let's do something here. So there's, this arrow is kind of in this direction, right? So it's kind of from over there. I'm wondering if I could follow this arrow this way here, maybe. Although I did just walk that way and I did not find anything. So uh, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. And there's nothing over this direction either. Right, I'm going to have to go out to Rance because I really don't have a clue what I'm doing here. And I feel like maybe I should have talked to him a little bit more. Let's go back. Right, we're back over here. That is what a spit roast looks like. It's called an ogre spit roast. I mean, there's a chance I could just prepare over here, but I don't think that's what I need to do. Let me talk to Rance, but the other version over here, and see if he tells me how to make a spit roast. What do you need me to do now? Creature, make the chompy by the stabber, so Fizzy and Bug sniff the bestest yums and splosh over with the boat. Go over to that place and cook the chompy by the stabber. Rance points over to the northeast. In the dim distance, you can see a beach near Taibo One. That's it. So I know where that is because that is right here and that is exactly where I found the arrow But he's not telling me how to make a spit roast. Oh, this is so tough. I don't get it What about if I talk to this version of Rance? No, yeah, he's just telling me to go and talk to him over there What's this pile of rock? I don't have a pickaxe on me. Ogre spit roast. Useful for ogre dinners I wonder if there's anything inside here that could give me the tools to make one. These guys tell me maybe? Nope He doesn't tell me anything and neither does that person. Well, what happens if I cook this thing just here? This 
raw chompy just on this spit roast. Yeah, that worked, but obviously it isn't what I need to do, right? No, see? Let me go and talk to him again now that I've the cooked one and see if that does anything. All right, I'll keep that on me, just in case. What does this achy tree do? Can I can I craft a spit roast out of an achy tree? No, just make the arrow shafts or the bow itself. And I can't use an arrow shaft on it, can I? Or maybe on a raw version? I mean, let's give that a go real quick. I need to get another one anyway. Let's just pluck this and then use that on the arrow shaft. No, nothing happens. Okay, I still have no idea what to do. Um, let's go back to Karamja, I guess. Now that we have a cooked version, maybe something will change. Maybe now that we've spoken to him a little bit more. I mean, let's have one last quick look at the dialogue options and just make sure there's nothing I've missed. No, he doesn't tell me anything, right? Right, let's go back to Karamja. Look, 60 magic from teleport to Ardi. Very nice. Right, we're back here. Nothing seems to have changed. I still cannot see a spit roast. I've just thought maybe I could drop this bloated toad though over here and it might do something. No, it needs to be the ogre area. Right, use a cooked chompy on the tree. No. For the next 20 minutes I walked around sort of trying things I'd already tried, searching places I'd already searched and was feeling incredibly defeated. Okay, at this point I've been here for about 45 minutes and I've just been walking around and I cannot find anything. I feel like I've covered the majority of the uh, island. I've walked all the way around here, pretty much to this point. Haven't gone that much further because that just seems ridiculous. I've done all around here. I've crossed over, gone down here, I've gone this place here and there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. I'm just really, really confused at this point. This person doesn't trade me anything like a spit, if that even exists as an item, I don't know. I mean, let's check the smithing guide real quick. Is there any sort of... Oh my god, there is! An iron spit that exists. I did not know that that was even an item. There's no bronze one, but there is an iron spit. Oh my god, it actually is a thing. I have to make an iron spit. Right, okay. Is this person sell iron bars? No, they sell bronze bars. Oh my god, this is a breakthrough. Right, okay, let's go and make one. Surely that's how it works, right? I have to set up a fire, and then maybe I can put the iron spit through this chompy or something like that. Do I have any iron bars? I have never, ever known that existed. Let's see if I've got any iron. I have an iron bar. I have a single iron bar. Let's grab my hammer. Let's grab a log as well to start a fire. Right, now let's go and make an iron spit. Surely I'd still need like two sticks to prop it up though. I have no idea how this works. Uh, What would I like to smell? Oh, I've gone to the wrong place. Where's an anvil? Is there an anvil around here? Oh, there's one here. Let's go to Camelot. Iron spit, where are you? Iron spit. Okay, then do we use that on that? Yes, we fucking do. Skewered chompy. Right, okay. We have a skewered chompy. This is progress. Oh, I'm so glad I thought of that. I was thinking it was like a wooden stick, but it makes sense for it to be metal. Right, let's go back to Ardy, and hopefully we can just make a fire and then put the skewered chompy on top of the fire. Hopefully. Right, we are... Oh, hello. Quizmaster. Give me the mystery box. What do we get? An onion. I'm praying that this works. I'm gonna just do this here, and then please, please allow me to do this. Skewer Chompy on the fire. Let's go. Let's go. You hear a commotion out to sea, and here come the children with the boat. Dad says you can get a lift back with us if you want. Yeah, okay then, that sounds good. I don't know what the point of that was then, if we're just going straight back to him. I mean, let's get a lift back. Yes, please, let's get a lift back. So what was the point of that then? If they just swam over there and then just swam back with the boat, if they just now turned into a transport mechanism, they're no longer his children, they're just gonna constantly be in the water. Fair dues. All right, let's talk to Rance. Now tell me how to get a jubbly. I've helped you with your scheme to get over to Karamja. Now help me by telling me how to get jubbly. That's easy. Use the big blower on the fatsy toady, right? And then need a rock and a woolly thing to stick it down in the ground, right? Oh, is that it? Oh, I didn't really kind of catch that. Let's just talk to him again. So, you use the big blower on the fatsy toady. So you make it fat and then you do it again. And then you need a rock and a woolly thing, a rock and a woolly thing to stick it down the ground. Right, I don't really know what that means. Okay, wait, so I've actually already got a bloated toad, so can I use that on that? Nothing happened, interesting. Rance told me how I can attract jubbly birds. It involves bloated toads and the ogre bellows. I need to talk to him again, because honestly, I'm a bit confused. Creature makes the fatsy toady and then needs a rock and a woolly thing to stick it down on the ground. Is that maybe I'm picturing like a rock with a bit of string and a toad at the top of it that's kind of floating? I need a rock, a woolly thing, which I believe is string, but 
Is string actually even a thing? Or is it just a ball of wool? Probably just a ball of wool, right? But then I need a stone as well. Maybe pet rock, would that work? Oh, is that, maybe that pile of rock? There you go, that's what I'd need it for. That makes sense, doesn't it? That pile of rock up there. Uh, okay, I need a pickaxe, but I also need some sort of wool. Let's go back to the bank. I've gone to the wrong place. Let's go to Castle Wars. Right, I've got a couple of balls of wool. Hopefully that'll do. And hopefully we get the pile of rock. Mine the pile of rock to get some rocks. And then from there we can just combine it into some sort of, I don't even know what. Right, let's mine this pile of rock. Nice, we have a rock. And then hopefully if I combine that with that, nothing interesting happens. What about that with that? No. Okay, I think I'm missing an ingredient here. Unless I have to use the bellows. Oh, maybe I have to get more gas in the bellows. Because he did say use it on the fatsy toady, which makes me think I need to make it even more bloated. So maybe I need to fill this up with more gas and then use that on that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, perfect. Oh, and it combined it. It did it. Balloon toad. Yeah, so I didn't even need the wool. I don't know what just happened there, but let's get another one. Right, I've got one. I need to go and get another rock and then we can use the rock on... Uh, wait, no, I didn't. I need to use that on that. There we go. And we have two balloon toads. Right, now hopefully I can just do this anywhere around here. Maybe just here. Can I do it here? Yep, I can. Let's hide over here. I only have six arrows for this, so I'm hoping it's not too high level. Nothing spawning yet. I'm hopeful though. Okay, nothing's here yet. And it's gone. Okay, maybe that's the wrong place for it. Let's try and do it over here. I doubt this is going to work, but... Oh, I can do it over here. All right, let's wait again. Mm, nothing's spawning yet. I'm wondering if I'm in the wrong place for this. There it is. It's fucking massive. Oh, I was on level 9. Right, okay, cool. That is huge. Die. Yes, we got it. Nice. Okay, let's pluck this massive bird. Raw jubbly. Okay. Well, once again, I do feel like I'm probably going to burn this, or have a chance to burn it anyway. I don't know what I need to do with it. Do I need to prepare it in a certain way? I just need to cook the meat now. Right, I assume again on a spit, so let's just give this a go. Hopefully we cook it in one. Look at the size of that. Wee, look at that. Cook jubbly. And hopefully, yes, we can just give it to scratch. Come on, let's go. Man, that took a long time. God, that spit really threw me off. I did not know that existed as an item. Let's just use that on scratch. Please work. Get in. Let's go. One quest point. 1.5k cooking, 1.5k woodcutting, 1.5k range and crafting. Increase access to the chest. Only three more to go. That was long. Thank <laughs> you.